Welcome to another RMS support tutorial video. This lesson will discuss how to create query definitions. To get started, you will first need to know some basics on SQL to write the query. You will also need to know how to get table names and field names from within RMS. Last, we'll discuss how to add the query into RMS. For the basics on SQL, you need to start your statement with the keyword select. This tells the database to show something. Next, you add a list of field names you wish to show, separating each field name by the comma. Then, add the keyword from, and then specify the table name. If you wish to limit the amount of data that is displayed, you would then follow the table name with a WHERE clause. The WHERE clause starts with the keyword WHERE, followed by the limits you wish to place on it. For example, if you wish to view all QC daily reports whether created after a specific date, the query would look something like this. Select INSP underscore date comma QC underscore weather from daily log where INSP underscore date greater than 3 slash 17 slash 2022. Now, if you want to limit this to a specific contract, you would add an AND statement and contract underscore ID equals E1001415. Next, I'll show you how to find the table names and the field names in RMS. There are two ways to find this information. First, by looking in the RMS Data Dictionary report, and second, by viewing the Field Information Overlay. First, I will show you how to use the Field Information Overlay. Here, I'm already logged into a contract, and I'm going to go to the QC tab and the QC daily report. Since the date and weather information can be found here, I want to view the field information overlay. To do that, push and hold the control key on your keyboard and then right click with your mouse. This will show you the table name here at the top and then the field names will go across the top of the table name. Note if you have any field names that have underscore X, those are calculated fields and they're not available to be used in a custom query. To exit this view, you can either click on the back button or you can click on close field information overlay button here. Now I'm gonna show you how to get to the RMS data dictionary report. As you can see here, we're logged into the district and we're gonna to go to the summary reports tab. From here, you're gonna search for RMS data dictionary and then open it up. You want all tables, or you can specify selected tables. I would suggest using all tables, table names, and fields. Preview this document, and then once it opens up, I would suggest saving it, so that way you can come back and reference it later. Next, I'll show you how to get to the query module inside of RMS. After closing the report, click on the contract selection button to return to the district's main view. Then go to the district library. Once the district library opens up, we are looking for the query definitions module. Click on it to open. You can now see the list of all queries in the district. Next, we're going to add a new query. Now, in this case, this has to do with QC reports, so I'm going to type in QC weather. For the title, you can add a brief description. And click OK. This is the query edit view, where we can change the title of the query, add a longer description, and enter the query itself with parameters if desired. To enter the SQL, it goes into this third box here. For this example, we will be entering the query shown earlier with the field and table names found in the field information overlay. Now, I will enter the query. Select INSP underscore date, comma, QC underscore weather underscore text from daily log where INSP underscore date is greater than the date. Now, in this case, you're going to want to be able to change this date every single time you do this. So we're going to use the parameters down at the bottom in order to add the date. Our first parameter will be for the daily report date field. In this case, this ID is going to be start underscore date. And then the title will be start date without the underscore. Next, you will need to set the type. If you don't know what the type is, check the RMS Data Dictionary Report under the Field Type column. 
and then you can set a default or you can leave this blank. That's up to you. Now, to be able to use the parameter in the query, you need to come up to your SQL query. You're going to start with the full colon, and then you're going to type in the ID that we entered in the parameters. Now, we also wanted to limit this to specific contracts. So I'm going to add an and statement to this where clause, and I'm going to add the contract underscore ID, and I'm going to set that equals to a contract ID. Contract IDs can be found in the main district contract list of the display contracts view. Now, again, I want to use another parameter. In this case, it's going to be the contract ID. And then the ID is contract ID. And then this one is going to be a string because the contract ID is a combination of a single letter and seven numbers. So that has to be a string text. And in this case, I'm going to set my default to E100 1660. Now you can also leave that blank. Again, we need to come up here for our parameters and start by pressing the full colon and then using the ID that we put in the parameter list, which was contract capital I D. And then when you're ready, go ahead and execute your query. It will take it a few minutes and then it's going to ask you for the parameter. You will notice that the defaults you set in the previous view are displayed here. To enter the date, click on the date picker. So in this case, I want a date from 2021. So I'm going to click on those to get to 2021. And then I want it from June 8th. And then I'm going to click on the execute query button down at the bottom. Now, once you click on that button, wait until the screen changes. Now, the error message you see here is an indication that the field name that we pulled from the field information overlay was incorrect. So we need to go check the RMS data dictionary, which has the most accurate information, to verify what that should be. To quickly find the information, I'm using the range of selected tables. Search for the daily log table and then select it. Click OK. When the report opens, look for the weather field in the report. As you can see, we need to remove underscore text. Close the report and return to your query to correct it. Now remove the underscore text from the QC underscore weather field. With that corrected, we can now execute the query. Again, pick a date, change the contract ID if looking for a different contract, and click on the execute query to display the result. In summary, we discussed the basics of SQL, how to find table and field names within RMS, and how to add a new query. If there are any technical issues that occur within RMS while attempting to add or edit new queries, please contact the RMS Support Center Help Desk by submitting a support ticket. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description box below. We hope you found this video informative and thanks for watching.